Oh, well, how long do you think this took? Pretty. A few hours? Two hours? In before two milliseconds. Teehee. You don't know how right you are, son. Great gamers, I'm here with another video today. So, as you can tell, I just got home. I still haven't taken off my clothes or anything. I lied to all of you. Ha, clickbaited, I changed pants. Anyway, so I was at Hunter today and I was showing one of my friends this picture that I drew. And then he was like, wow, the chrome looks really good. And then I said, you wanna know a little secret? The chrome is the easiest thing to draw. I'm a I'm about to I'm about to flex on you hoes and also help you get better at art. I had some time to kill while I heated up my udon noodles. Alrighty, start with opening up your digital paint program. Cause we're gonna do this digitally and y'all know that we're gonna use Medibang paint. So let's start. Who dare you? With a circle. Click the protect alpha and just color it in your desired color. Let's do blue, or better yet, let's do something like green. So now, this is the most important step when it comes to drawing chrome. Obviously, you're gonna wanna take like a soft watercolor brush or some type of soft blending brush, but here's where it gets interesting. You gotta pick a really deep, dark color that would contrast well with this. I'm gonna use blue. Alright, now you just take your eyedropper tool and start blending. Just blend nice and easy and then start blending on the other side. You have a simple chrome. Now I like to put a little bit of sparkle on the edges because we're not really going for realism here, at least I'm not. And I also like to make it a little bit more realistic by adding surrounding colors. For this, we're just going to pretend it's yellow. Let's say we're in a field of yellow toxic waste. And then the top highlight, that's really up to you. You could do it like this with the watercolor brush. You could use like any type of color. Just go crazy with it. Something I like to do is either layer the colors like this or add an extra layer, switch it to add, and pick whatever color you think would look good, and then just, I don't like that color, let's do yellow. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. It's really all just trial and error. And since we want to be extra fancy, let's add another layer and put overlay and just do some shit like this. You can see these colors don't really look great together. Um, we also, we also can put a little bit more highlight here. We could, we could, SMH. I'm on the wrong layer. We could put glitters inside of this. The world is your oyster. You can literally do whatever you want. Here's the one I drew previously that my friend was really impressed with, and that's what inspired me to make this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed! I know I didn't!